Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to How to Play Games. Today we're going to play Ubangu. Ubangu is a game of puzzles. It's a lot of fun, and it's good for kids that are everywhere from younger to older. Everybody enjoys playing good puzzle games. So this is how you play the game. The game there is a board that has nine levels on it. A complete game is nine rounds of Ubangu. You have the blue side, which are blue sapphires. You have the tan side, which are amber. Each player also gets a set of 12 different puzzle pieces. They are all different shapes and different colors. You get one playing board. And if you notice, a playing board, there are two sides. There is an easy side, which is you use three pieces to solve the puzzle. And there's a challenging side, which is you use four pieces pieces to solve the puzzle. What you are trying to do is given each category, each level, you want to use these three pieces and you want to be able to fill in this entire white spot so you can't see anything anymore. So let's do a round and see how it happens. The first thing we do is we roll our dice. In this case, our dice came up to be a snake. If you look on all the boards, Every board has a snake and it says, I need these three pieces. So I'm going to pull these three pieces, this one, this one, and this one. We're going to flip over the timer and the timer is starting now. Now I have to take the three pieces and I have to figure out how can I turn this in to and cover my piece. Ubangu. Ubangu. You can use the pieces on either side so you can flip it over, but your goal, again, is to cover completely up all of the white space and they fit together. The first person that completes it says Ubangu. The second person that completes it also says Ubangu. As the players complete it, if there is still time, they can all keep going and complete it. Once the time runs out, then those that haven't completed it are done. So the first player that called Ubangu will take a sapphire from the sapphire side and will take a stone from the bag. The player who is second will take a stone from the amber side and then also gets to take a stone from the bag. Any player after that that completed in the time frame gets to pull a stone from the bag. You keep playing for nine rounds, so we push this over and we roll the dice again. It was the snake again, so we roll again. And this time it's the gazelle. So I look at the gazelle and I pull my pieces. Here we go, I flip my timer over. So my gazelle, I have the zigzag, the blue, and the little green. And again, I am trying, I can flip my pieces all around. I can flip them any way that I need to. Ubangu. And the first person to call Ubangu wins the first round, but everybody else can keep going. So I'm still going as I'm trying to figure out how to put these pieces together. You will keep going in this round, flipping your pieces over, until the timer runs out. At the end of the timer, if I haven't completed it, then I don't get to draw any stones. If you are the first person that called Ubangu, you get to draw a blue one, and then you draw from the back. At the end of all nine rounds, you count up your stones. Stop. And you'll see up here, the red stones are worth four points. The blue stones are worth three points. The green stones are worth two and the amber stones are worth one. At the end of nine rounds, the player with the most points wins the game. A few tips is if you've rolled a couple times and you've gone through most of the, the uh, different combinations on the board, just everybody replace the boards and grab new ones. As always, make sure you refer to the official instructions with the game for further details on how to play it. Thank you.